going on everybody it's silence here welcome back to the channel and welcome back to until dawn so happy friday today well no today's friday i'm uploading this tomorrow so happy saturday this is when you'll be watching this or anytime after that happy saturday welcome to the weekend we're doing this i'm having a lot of fun playing this game hopefully you guys are having some fun watching it so uh, we're just getting into the juicy stuff of this game so you're not going to want to miss anything from here on out but uh, if you didn't see the first two parts go back and watch them this game is awesome but anyways guys hopefully you brought a snack and a drink and let's hop into this so let's just resume right where we left off and let's check this out previously so this always updates you a little bit Tells you what you missed. Don't you guys think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. No! Man, oh man. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch. She's lying. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. See? Even Chris knows. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every Nine time hours I until it. dawn. That feels the same to me. Alright, so this is the final member that you have not met yet. This is Josh. Complex, thoughtful, and loving. He is Hannah and Beth's brother. Also, one of the main characters. So, let's check this out. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey, guys. Get up here okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it was so good to see you. What's up with him? Oh, boy, who's creeping? And Matt's already pissed, because he saw... Emily and Mike hugging, um, and that might turn out that might turn out to yo, be something. Yo, yo, yo! We get things moving up here, or what? Yeah, man. Matt and Emily, uh, let's let's just let's worry. You doing all right? Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it, and I just I want us to have a good time, you know, like we always used to. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hi, Chris. Nice being back. Yeah, girls like confidence. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. All right, so real quick, I'm just going to see if I can turn on... Turn on subtitles, yes. I want to turn those on just because this game sometimes is a little quiet, but I, I promise there's nothing I can do about it. I have the game volume all the way up. I have my PlayStation volume all the way up. I got my volume on my software all the way up. So it's just the game. It just wants to be quiet sometimes. So I'll turn on. All right, so let's uh, I'll turn on subtitles. So it might make it a little bit easier for you guys to see. So we're going to go around here and uh, see if we can break into Josh's house here. She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? Now I just want to rip that Parker right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Absolutely. Absolutely you do. No. Absolutely. When are you going to take her to the bone zone? <laughs> like, that could ever happen. Come on, man. She practically spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. 
You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. He knows what he's talking about. Josh is definitely... Yeah, you're right. He knows what he's talking you're about. You're a hunter, bro. No fear. No mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I got it. Jeez. All right, so let's keep looking for this window we can try to get into. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. It sounds like you they're stepping on real snow, which is pretty insane. Four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cool buns. Huh. Clue found axe holder. Empty axe holder. Yeah, let's check this out. I know, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to hop well, in one of these well, windows. We got yep. ourselves a thinker. Nice one. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. There we go. It should be good. Now I'm going to have to get my ass in the house. Oh, boy. He just absolutely falls and just eats it. Okay. I didn't, I didn't mean this way. I'm okay. Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? <laughs> yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? Of course. I, I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so. I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Born ready, baby. Godspeed, Pilgrim. All right, awesome. So now we are alone in this creepy lodge all by ourselves. You know, if, if you owned a big house like this up in the mountains, wouldn't you... Oh, boy. Okay, we got us a totem, guys. Wouldn't you keep it a little more locked or secure? Because, like... They just opened the window like it was nothing. But let's check this totem out here. Let's see what we got. A lost totem. That looked like Emily um, on fire. The fuck was that? I got chills. Probably can't even see that, but I got chills. So I'm just gonna like look around a little bit. Let's check out. I don't want to miss anything. Any clues? Anything? Janitor convicted so arson. What we here? So that I think that's um, the wanted poster. Basically, we saw it down at the bottom of the ski lodge. All right, let's take a look. This is like my dream house. Nobody around to piss me off. See, there's clues literally everywhere, man. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you would... What the fuck? What the hell was that? I just saw something move. Did this door close? Oh, boy. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys would go through this house by yourselves in the dark. I'm pretty sure this door just closed by itself. Josh... I mean, this dude, Chris, is tripping. Okay, so this is the front door, I'm pretty sure, right? Yes, okay. There is Sam and... Hi, Chris. Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be, like, getting the lock open or something? On it. 
All right, so we gotta find the bathroom. We gotta find that can of deodorant, that can of Axe body spray. Why do I keep hearing things break? Oh, Jesus Christ. So we can literally go... I was gonna say we could go anywhere, but I guess that's not the case. What's this? Another picture. Ready for the senior prom. I keep thinking I hear voices, but like, I think it's, I'm just in my own head at this point. Alright, so, bathroom. I'm pretty sure it's upstairs somewhere. Can I close those? No? Okay. Like, this is the biggest house ever. <laughs> Wait a minute. We might be lucky here. Oh, this is the bathroom. Yes, okay, awesome. And voila. First try. There we go. Inferno for <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ! Get the fuck. I was like so calm that I, like, I, Jesus Christ. Like I said, it's been like a year since I played this. Woo! God damn. Holy shit, I completely forgot about that. Alright, here we go. Yeah, well, don't touch it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> so Wolverine God, action? That thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. <laughs> so where... Oh, okay, there we go. I was gonna say, we're missing a couple people here. Where is home, Mike? Sweet home. Sweet is not the word I used. Oh my gosh, it's so what? good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire to go. This place barely looks any different. And yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Oh, see, he's got that fire in his eye. Make yourself at home, bro. We'll Should do? I cause a fight yeah. right away? Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. It's easy there, cowboy. Butterfly effect update. Um. Let's. Oh, what should we do? Let's. Ch oh, I don't know. Stay away from Emily or I saw you and Emily. Let's do I saw. What the hell were you doing with M out on the trail? What? I saw you and M through the telescope. Before? We just ran into each other. It's been a while, so we hugged and I said hello. Is that against the law? Um, let's apologize. We don't want to cause a stir up here. Right. Yeah. Duh. Sorry, it's been kind of a long day. I overreacted. Nah, man. Don't worry about it. Cool. Yeah, yeah, totally. All right, so I let him. At least I let him know I saw him, but then I, I backed off because I'm not trying to, you know, cause a fight right away here or anything. Oh my God, that is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Damn. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not oh, hear me? Oh, here we go. Loud? Woo! Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah. Uh-oh. All a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. Um, let's... We're gonna defeat... It's not gonna work, but Emily's gonna chill, because she just came in 
and just just fucking hands throwing. You know, it, it, you got to chill out. Come, come on. No, shut up, Matt. Stay out of it, you dumb oaf. Hey, watch whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're the only one who can put him down. No one else can play with your toys. You're such Ooh. a bitch. Whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. Honor roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades Woo! when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Oh, uh, let's let's now let's provoke. Shut your mouth, Jess. Jessica, you need to shut your mouth, okay? No, you're the one who needs to keep your nose out of other people's business. I'm about to get right up in your business, you bitch. Are we about to get real? Cause I am down to get real. Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for ten minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right, Mike? Why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Want to go do that? Any place without that whore. It, it's right up the trail. <sighs> Glad that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my God, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my God, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well. Do you? Jesus, like she's got chill, man. She's yeah, got to take a breath. Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm. We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. Why? Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. So everybody gets in here and everybody goes their own separate direction. Probably not the best idea. Uh, exiled. Status update. Exiled. Here we go. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, bar. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right, and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars! <laughs> gonna need these. Porn star? I pay to see you. Uh, Hell yeah. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Got to fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. It's real dark out I there. Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. That's literally what my girlfriend would say. She's always trying to get under my skin like that. She's like, oh, wait, really? I'm like, what? No. I thought there was like a little something over here. Maybe I'm just tripping. Jess, get out of here. So this is where the game starts to get a little better. Um, so we're, it's not just like the introductory stage. Uh, now we're actually doing things. So Jess and Mike, we're going to the guest cabin, uh, basically to get away from everybody else. Uh, so we are going to head out. We're going to have to take a trail through the dark woods, but we're going to turn on the generator so we have some light along the way. What is this? Hey, Hot Lips. Photo booth. All right. Read my mind. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Everybody smile. Everybody smile. Right. Why am I smile, bitch? Fantastic. Uh, good effort. Next time I get the camera, okay? Well, okay, but 
it's not easy holding the thing all like backwards and forwards at the same time. <laughs> okay, let's go. I've got cabin fever. I was gonna say there's no possible way that they nailed that on the first try because I've taken probably 50, 60 uh, pictures in a row with my girlfriend. She still wasn't satisfied. Help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. And guess what? They were all the same pictures. All right, so we're gonna turn on the generator, which I think is probably just a little ways up here. Hopefully. Emily's as dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. <laughs> I think you bring out the worst in her. Is that so? Epic. Eaten Just by a bear. Suck it. All right. So I'm guessing Mike is like, Oh yeah, we can't do this. We gotta turn on a generator. Huh. Um, I guess this thing needs juice or something. So I'm guessing she Didn't was like Josh homecoming queen cheerleader, generator? and he was like, you know, the most popular dude in school. Uh oh, looks like we're coming up on a totem here. Hey Mike, find the generator. Oh shit! Danger. Okay, so we saw a guy with a mask. Punching Ashley square in the face, which is not cool. All right, let's see. I literally have to like click Boom. every nice little one, button. R2, down, down. There we go. Woo, you are a wizard. Oh, sh um, woo, I get the chills. I got the chills. All right, nothing else going on here. Excuse me, Jess. Okay, so there's a man watching us, and that's never a good sign. I'm pretty sure he's going to follow us, uh, but let's just move on. All right, let's see. There we go. Sam, The gates shall open. Pretty good, right? Yeah. Totally. No, this is awesome. Oh, yeah. I bring the hit. <laughs> you psyched yet? You don't oh, I'm psyched, baby. Yet. I am so psyched right now. Let me just aim that, uh, that light sure. right where it needs to be. <laughs> right. Oh, I can't get it. Can't get it. Do you hear Matt? As soon as he got in the house, he's like, I wouldn't say this house is awesome. That's like the nicest house in history. Uh-oh. From Hannah and Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. Ah, uh, let's be respectful. Well, wherever they are, I'm sure they're happy we're all thinking about them. That's a nice way of thinking about it. Hell yeah, status update. So I just want to pause real quick and I want to see status and collectibles. So this is cool because it tells you, you know, what your relationship with this person is and so on and so forth. So these are some of the clues we've gotten so far. So prom night photo, family portrait, but then look at this. So we've already missed a couple. The twins, 1952, Mystery Man. Um, so we got the ex gender, the missing axe. See what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like I missed any, but I clearly already missed some. And we got, I think we might have all the totems, maybe so far. Uh, now we gotta find a fortune one. It doesn't really go in order like that, but uh, we're not doing too bad. But I think it's nearly impossible to find everything in this game because uh, you have to look every square inch of every square room you're in and it's oh no don't walk back down camera angle keeps changing on me the controllers the controls keep changing what the f that scared the hell out of me did you hear that i heard something yeah it's a banshee so like that might be like an indicator to go back down to the cabin 
maybe? I don't know, to the lodge? I don't think we can get up to the cabin with the path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, aka Wax Museum, to drink hot chocolate. Whoa! Jess! Fuck! Hey, Jessica! Yep! Hey! I'm okay! Holy crap, you scared <laughs> the heck out of me. How do you think I felt? Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you get out? I... Seven. I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. She count her poops? Um... Let, uh... I'll be heroic. Alright, coming after you. Just stay Oh, uh, we got a butterfly effect up there. Oh, shit! Hey, Jess, you didn't see that? Wanna help me move this cart thing? Yo, this is not good, man. This is not good. How am I moving? How am I moving? I imagined us grunting together. This is not what I pictured. <laughs> All right, one more thing. I want to pause it and see... This is what I wanted to see. So, butterfly effect. So, this is basically what happens. So, by me respecting Chris's privacy when I zipped it up, Chris was happy to see Sam. Uh, so, I'm guessing that would have changed if I was snooping. And since Chris was happy to see Sam, Chris continued to trust Sam. And it just keeps going like that. And literally, things could just keep changing throughout the... Uh, Chris chose not to shoot the squirrel. Nature remained in balance. So, I don't really know what that means, but... Ashley encouraged Matt to use the telescope. Matt saw Emily and Mike flirting. Matt confronted Mike. Matt sided with Jessica during the fight with Emily. So as you can see, this side is blank. So that l means something later down the line. That had an effect on. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't spit that out. But let's just keep going here. It's just really cool, the whole butterfly effect system. I really do like it. Alright, let's get through this creepy mine. Um... That's... Ah! Oh! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, oh holy ah. crap! Oh. oh my gosh, are you okay? Uh, yep. Yep, I'm fine. Alright, so I'm, I'm pretty sure somebody's trying to kill us out here. But like, why is there just like a creepy mine out here, you know? Oh, so I'm pretty Nelly. sure... This place is giving me the willies. Hold on. And not the good kind of willies. Uh, I just want to check everything. Comfort and reassurance. <laughs> we'll save it for the cabin, Buster. There we go. Good thing I did. I think this might be the... Of the guy... Oh, what is this? Fortune. That was Jess half-naked and covered in... What the hell was that? Bro, yo, get me out of this... Fucking mine. See you, Jess. I'm leaving. Yep, see you, babe. So that was Jess literally half naked, covered in blood. So, like, it, it, you know, something you do could make that happen in the future, which is just insane. But, like, what the hell did I just see running on the roof? Running on the ceiling, I mean. What's going on here, huh? Huh. Hell yeah. Reason. Wonder who is out there. That's my shit. Whoa. Clue found mystical symbol. This place is like historical. Holy bat cave. No, this place is like American, creepy. Right? Oh, we got another clue. I don't think the miners were getting their arts and crafts on, no. <laughs> no, no, it's like a shrine or something. A shrine to what? Alright, so let's keep moving. Or not. You alright? Yeah. A close one. I just I feel like this is a lot. Place is up to code. No, it ain't up to code at all. I'm thinking it's time to go. Absolutely. This is like a lot of things to go through to get to a guest cabin, you know? I feel like it should be like right out back, maybe. 
Area, Jesus. Areas at risk. Danger, He's a real fixer-upper. Flood risk. Collapse support crust. Extreme rockfall danger. This is just uh, not the place you want to be. Especially when you're uh, a couple teenagers just trying to bang. Alright, let's keep it moving. So, since I played this game twice, I'm pretty sure I only have three or four trophies for this game. Like, it's very hard to get trophies. There we go, we're here, outside. So, like, I would like to get a new trophy at some point during this, this, uh, walkthrough slash let's play. Because there's so many different endings, like, I feel like I should have at least one, you know? I would like to find all the totems, but, like, I feel like that's just gonna be impossible as well, so I'm not gonna... Not gonna worry about it too much. Check this out. What's over here? No, nothing. All right, cabin. Hey, we're uh, on the we're on the right path at least. I like how Josh never said anything about going through a cave on the way, but you know, or a mine. Come on, Jess, you're slowing me down, girl. You are blocking me. Well, when Josh said cabin, I felt like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? Ooh. <laughs> Wanna take a ride on Air Force One? <laughs> oh, that's, right, right. uh... Save it for this... Oh, a telescope! Gonna look at the trees, gonna look at the clouds, gonna look at the cabin... Um... Whoa. You alright? I just saw someone at the cabin. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Why does that keep happening to me? Why am I like so stupid? Like, why do I do that? Hey, Jess. Mhm. Mm Stay close by, okay? What's Wolf, that? Grizzly bear. Oh, uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Oh, Michael, I what is have this? the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. Come on, please. Come on. <laughs> Let's not hug a bear. Okay, are we going the right way? I don't know if we're going the right way. I, I hope we are. I don't know. This is like this is like two miles in the woods at this point. It's just like how stupid are teenagers, you know? Oh shit, there we go. Be witty. It's just, just answering his mating. Wow, you're easy. Yeah, got a lot of love to give. <laughs> I'm scared. I was scared. All right, let's keep it going. Now, I'm sorry this video is getting a little lengthy. I figured this this walk to the cabin might have been a little bit quicker, but I guess that's not the case here. So I'll I'll end it as soon as we uh. As soon as we come to a pretty good stopping point. But hey, you know what? This is my YouTube channel. I'll do whatever I want. So the cabin's that way. God damn it, Josh. Can you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. <laughs> oh, boo! Go off. Hey, Mike, you've got something on your face. Ah. Oh. Okay, okay. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Yes? Ah. Yes! So that is where we are going to stop this video. We are going to stop this part of Until Dawn right now. Uh, now that Jess, nowhere to be found, and all we can hear is her screams in the distance. So, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this part of Until Dawn. It's getting a little bit juicier now, uh, which I told you it would. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed this part. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe. You can subscribe right above my head there. I think there might be a little thing you can subscribe here. And uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know how you guys feel in this game so far. I appreciate you guys watching so much. I am Asylums, and I'll see you guys in the next video.